Hi and welcome. So it's going to be a late video today and I'm quite tired so let's have a look at the new room on TriHackMe at End of Cyber. This is called the uh, seventh room I think it is. Uh, let me just see. I am really tired today. Yes it is the seventh day web exploitation migration without security. So basically it says the development team that handles gift requests from children migrated over to a new technology stack. In doing so, they left their application vulnerable and Grinch Enterprises now controls access to the system. Fortunately, Grinch Enterprises have got to patch the system, so now you can use the same abilities to re retrieve the gift request for the students. And they talk about the video walkthrough uses the in-browser access to complete the room, the instructions, and the tasks are slightly different, and make use of attack budget. Box OpenVPN. What they kind of tell us to do in the start after reading all of this, if I'm not mistaken, they do say that we need to interact with the Mongo machine. So let me just open a new uh, terminal. So SSH and it's going to be TMH and the password try hack me. So let's do try hack me at and then the IP address is gonna be this one and you should think that I'm master of copy paste but I am not and the P the port for 2222 and then we're gonna say yes to fingerprint with it and the password would be something like try hack me so let's try that try hack me so now we're in to the server of uh, the Mongo server of the IP address 10.10.34.62 and we can write something like show databases I think it is, I'm not the best show DBs oh, sorry, we are not connected to the MongoDB yet so let's just write Mongo and now we're inside the MongoDB and then we can write something like show databases I think it is in MongoDB and then we see a view of the different databases we can access through the interface and we see something like flag db. So let's use, I think it's called use db. Um, yes, it is. And then show collections, I think it is. Flag call. Let's do uh, flag, d, flag db find. I think that's the way. No. Mm. Let's just see, let's go back to the tutorial. What, how was that we used MongoDB, which is definitely not one of my specialities. Uh, users find, okay, so DB's name. Let's see, that would be flag DB flag call find. No, no, flag DB. Um, maybe it's just flag call find like this. No. All right. So I'm gonna read a bit about this and I'm gonna pause the video just for a second. All right. So what I kind of got is that I do need to write db flag call and then find to see what's inside of it. And what I see here is the <clears throat> the flag that I need to probably insert for the first question. Now, I chose this database because it's named FlagDB. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the reason. So let's go back and let's see. Do, 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 do. That is the answer, I'm pretty sure. Yes, that's the answer. And then let's see. Mm. Now they say something about an interface on the web slows access the actual web page. Should we have the the Grinch? I'm gonna start up my bird proxy because they are talking about inter um, talking about intercepting the actual request. Let's just be sure not update next start burp. So let's say we discussed it, how to bypass. Whoops. 
Uh, Login to the application that Grinch Enterprise controls as admin and retrieves the flag. Use the knowledge given in AOC 3, day 4. Set up burp proxy, intercept the HTTP request, and modify the post parameter. And they looks like this, and probably going to be the lower line where we have the, um, the MongoDB admin and the password NE not equal to. So I'm pretty sure that these two uh, letters here should be rearranged in some way to one of these here. So instead of any it could be equal or, or greater than or something like that to um, escalate our privileges on the system to get admin access. So let's go to the page, boot up uh, proxy intercept is on, change to intercept in my foxy pocket to burp proxy. And basically, not that one, no. Do something like admin, one, two, three, and then load it. Send that to, re I think intruder would be a good idea for us today. No, sorry, not intruder. Repeater, yes. Drop the intercepts, and then let's just send the request one more time and see something like bad credentials. So if we will do this correctly, we will need to modify stuff. Let me just go back again. Let's intercept one more time and go back and say one, two, three. And did actually change something for me. So let me just see what really happened. We're going to JSON, getting the request. And no, it's a bad credential. Let's just try something like password just to get in. No, it is not the password. So what we need to do is to get back to this. Um, Burp proxy interception where we're getting the same kind of in, uh, interaction window like this. So let's try and add these um, things to the to the password like not equal to admin. So let me just write something like one two three. Go back to burp intercept is on. Post it. And let's do. Let's just quickly have a reminder. It's going to be after the word passwords will be add some modifiers and those modifiers could also be called. Uh, let's see. The voice presentation among the operators. So it's some operators we need to include and they suggest we do add on the inclusion of not equal NE for not equal. Basically saying that we are not interested in, that's not a dollar sign not equal to one, two, three. So everything admin not equal to one, two, three. I'm gonna forward the request and just forward whatever, go back to the browser. And now we're locked in as admin. So basically what happened here is that the database uh, does not sanitize the input in any way. So it kinda accept that I push in the not equal MongoDB uh, operators, so I'm basically saying any password that is not equal. So if I actually wrote the actual password for admin, I should not log in, but everything else like Jimbo, Jumbi, Teddy Bear, or whatever, would grant me access. And <laughs> as a link call flag, so I'm gonna take it <laughs> and go to the web page and say this is probably gonna be the flag. Hooray, it is. Once you're logged in, use the gift search page to list all usernames and guest roles where it's a flag. All right, so let's go to the dashboard, the search function, and I don't know, guest. If I can type, I cannot dev type it today. And username not found. So let's see what was it they want me to do. Once you're logged in, use the gift search page to list all usernames that have guest roles. 
Okay, so it seems like what we're gonna do is to intercept anything. So let's just write a uh, test and search. And that is not the correct one. Let's see. No, forward. Oh, it would seem it was correct. Oh yeah, it's because the guest request. So I was just mistaking. I thought this was a post request. So let's just redo it like a test again. And I'm gonna put this to repeater, intercept off and go to repeater. So now what I could do is to probably say all the roles of guests, I would say. And let's just try that. And what I get back is, can we render this? Click to render. No. HTML. Let's go to the actual page and do this on intercept. So let's intercept the word test. And instead of user, I'm going to write guest, forward request, drop, and go back to the page and see that I do get something ID test guest. And what was the question again? all usernames. So what if I went back and whoops and said something like nothing and guessed forwarded that and back to the page. No. So it would seem that I need to do something like if I say not equal to nothing, basically anything other than nothing would be posted. So I'm getting all the users, but I'm not seeing any flag. So I must have done something wrong. Let's try one more time. I would seem that I didn't get any flag at all. No. Let's let's write something. Let's write uh, admin. Let's post it in and say where everything is. I'm pretty confident this is the way not equal to and do something like guest. Guest. And then forward that. Go back to the browser. And okay. It had some effects. Anyways, I got the flag. So read what I just did was to post the same request again and telling, let me just intercept the whatever tests and then I guess test would also work. Just to try not equal to and user guest forward that and go back to the browser. Yeah, basically anything, just need to write something in. Having it empty would probably result in too many users being posted. And um, yeah, I don't know, it, it, it's probably that. But anyways, I have some ejection going on. So this is the flag I'm gonna post on the second most answer. And yeah, of course. <laughs> and I'm getting correct answer. I just intercepted my own response to try hack me. Use the gift search page to perform a no screen injection check and retrieve max key records. What's his uh, record details? So I'm gonna go to the search page again and write test. Make sure the verb is on. Search, <coughs> take the username and forward that. Let's see what I get. Using that found. Interesting. What if I just type max kitty? Let's just remove the interception for now. Max kitty. No. So what if I write test again? Intercept is on. And go back to the actual question. What did it say? Use the gift page to perform and retrieve the kitty record. What is the 
details record. So we need to take that username and say So instead of having the mm, username is correct, but the role of McSkitty probably is not a user. So I don't know the other roles, so let's just say not equal to that and see what happens. I'm gonna forward this back to the browser. Okay, so I get the actual ID now. It's the admin. I'm gonna copy it and paste that in as my final answer and yes of course <laughs> and yes this is correct so basically whenever you are having a mongodb or some sort of interaction from the front end to the back end it's possible to inject with certain parameters in this occasion we really really misused uh, burp and then not misused burp but using burp we misuse the web page uh, functionality and then injecting different operators to the value are the username or password variables in the post request well then we could actually say i want every username that is not admin i want every username um, but it should not be a user but an admin so if the search function didn't have the uh, let me just go back to the the one with the Max Kitty. So <coughs> if I go back again, just to showcase this interaction on, and I did test what we had in the start. I did something like this said not equal to nothing. Let's just once again do this and say user anything. Forward this and go back to the page. We got a big huge lists of users and we did actually get the admin uh, but it is not max giddy so let me see 61 47 what is the actual 61 84 so this is max giddy is also an admin and <coughs> it would seem that the user admin is also an admin but it is a user so we have uh, this is tricky a user called admin mm -hmm, with user abilities so basically if i went back and typed test again to the proxy and i wrote user role admin let's see if this would work just if the application would actually fetch those users and it would seem that this would be another way for us to find Max Kitty's role. It's basically just to say, hmm, we have admin, admin, interesting. And we have TriHackMe admin, and we have Max Kitty admin. And with this result could be fetched by either saying that, that you didn't want all, well, this is not the correct window, let me just refetch it for you guys so you can see what I mean so it will be test again so this would say that if you say that all users that are equal to nothing I don't know if you need to write anything there but just saying all admin users let's just try that I'm getting interested no you need to you need more you need more you do need to say that it should be not equal to nothing which basically results to all users and then only from that you filter or even more and say only the admin rules and that should give you the exact same result before the max giddy record so there are many different ways to fetch the result and i hope you you um, can see some parts in it that that would be nice to have uh, or to do anyways i'm really tired and uh, i hope you could follow me in this video uh, this video what about uh, the seventh day of Advent of Cyber and if you like my video please consider subscribing to my channel leave any kind of comment below and I will get back to you.